we have here, we have here a promise. A promise. Now this is a container of promise. And perhaps you've heard of the butter substitute promise. Anybody hear of this promise? <laughs> well, promise <clears throat> says it's going to be everything that butter is, uh, looks like butter, tastes like butter, only it's supposed to be healthier for you. Okay? And that's sort of their promise. Well, I don't know about these kind of promises, but in the gospel today, Jesus promises something, and we can be sure of it. Jesus promises to be with us in our lives no matter what is happening. Now in that gospel, Jesus has risen from the dead. And the apostles went to a mountain to meet him. And <clears throat> Jesus says to them, they went to a mountain to meet him. And Jesus appeared. And he said to them, Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Jesus promises to be with us at all times. Well, tonight we're celebrating the feast, we're celebrating this weekend, Trinity Sunday. And very simply, it reminds us that we have an, an all-powerful God that created the world, a Savior, Jesus Christ, and the promise that the Spirit and the power of God will be with each one of us at all times. God promises to be with us, and that's a promise. Now, we're not going to understand all this, this God of ours, but we can feel the power of God working in us. Not going to understand all about God, but we can feel the power of God working in us. Now, a young mother, a young mo mother of three young children described the power of God in this way. She said, the power of God working in us is like a mother's love for her children. The love that mother has is not something that's given by the mother and received by the child, like a birthday present. No, it's just there. It's just there. And that's what the power of God is in us. And another mother said, even when the mother can't be with her children, their love is still there, no matter what. A couple weeks ago, I was celebrating Mass at the Justice Center Jail across the street. And that is a particularly tough day for the women inmates because they, they can't be with their children. But their love for those children is still there. You could see it in the way they talked. That's the power of God working in us and God's promise to be with us always. And that, that's a promise. Maybe an, an example will help. About six months ago, Janet 
learned that her, her young, her daughter would no longer be able to care for her two young children. It fell to Janet because there was just plain old nobody else to do it. And she said to herself, wait a minute. I haven't had little kids in my house in 20 years. I work. How am I going to be able to handle this? She told us she prayed long and hard. And then all of a sudden, I received a peace like I never had before. My whole life was changed, and I was able to deal with the children very well. Janet felt the power of God working in her. And that's the same power of God that's promised to each one of us. And that's a promise. God is with us. That's a promise. I mean, note that uh, the disciples in the gospel that we just heard, they went to Jesus, they went to the mountain to meet Jesus, just as he told them to do. Okay? They saw Jesus, but what did they do? They doubted. Even when they saw Jesus, they doubted. Then Jesus assures them, I'm going to always be with you. And that's the promise God makes to each one of us. I will be with you, working in you, no matter what's going on. God is with us. That's a promise. So as we go on now and get ready to share in the body and blood of Christ, let's ask our God to help us remember that God is with us at all times. And God can turn our doubts and our fears into strength and joy. He did it for the disciples. God does it for us. He takes us, no matter what's happening, with all our fears and all our doubts and can turn them into strength and joy.